if we really take the magic word and we enter into a cooperative effort with him to bring about in this world the purpose for which we were created when he put us in this world. That he might be known. That his righteousness should cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. <coughs> well, let's continue. Or not. You know, somebody set that clock haywire. Here I was on Pacific Standard Time and we're not on the Pacific. Okay, let me just remind you of a couple of things that Peter reminded, reminds us of in this letter. There's a whole section here that is about fantastic okay. stuff that I'd like for us to do, but we, first I just want you to look at chapter two, verse one. False prophets also among the people, just as there will also be false teachers among you. There's an inside job can be done on us if we aren't on our guard. Who will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, bringing swift destruction upon themselves. And many will follow their sensuality. Because of them, the way of truth will be maligned. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false words and their judgment from long ago is not idle and their destruction is not asleep. And he talks about God knows how to handle this business. Don't enter into it. People look like they're getting away with stuff and you think, well, why can't I, you know, I'm, I'm this special person. Why can't I get away with that? Well, don't feel sorry for yourself. Rejoice in your association with God and stay far from the influence of these people. In verse 19 he says of chapter 2, promising them freedom. He comes about promising this freedom while they themselves are slaves of corruption and by what a man is overcome, by this he is enslaved. Another one of those verses that people wouldn't like to read, but let's read it anyway. For if after they escape the defilements of the world by the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and are overcome, the last state has become worse for them than the first. He's talking to people, writing to people, who have the same faith that the apostles have. And he's warning them to look out. Be on your guard. Don't play fast and loose with the truth. It's dangerous. So, recognizing these things, one more question. And let's look at that in the fourth chapter. Where he's calling attention to the fact that people are mocking and they're saying, well, you don't have to worry about the final judgment. Uh, things have gone on, just, you know, the steady state theory. The universe is eternal and and it's always been there and it'll always be there and things are going to go on just like always. And uh, he reminds us that hmm, the present heavens and earth by his word are being reserved for fire, kept for the day of judgment and destruction of God. 
don't you want to? But do not let this one fact escape your notice, beloved, that with the Lord one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day, and the Lord is not slow about his promises, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, in which the heavens will pass away with a roar. The elements will be destroyed with intense heat. The earth and the works will be burned up. Since all these things are to be, what sort of people ought you to be? Holy in conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, on account of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning. The elements will melt with intense, intense heat. But according to his promises, we are looking for a new heaven, a new earth, in which righteousness dwells. So, be on your guard. Look for, hasten the coming of the day. How would you hasten his return? <clears throat> Remember what Jesus said? He said, well, Lord, tell us, when are all these things going to be destroyed and all that's going to happen? And, and when are you coming back? And he said, the gospel of the kingdom must be first preached to the whole world for a sign, and then the end shall come. So, let's go tell it on the mountain. Let's go tell it.